For many, the idea of a haunted village conjures up images of creaky old houses, foggy graveyards, and eerie apparitions that wander the streets at night. Whether it's a tale told around a campfire or a scene in a horror movie, the concept of a haunted village has captivated our imaginations for centuries. From the dark forests of Europe to the remote towns of India, there are countless villages around the world that are said to be haunted. Some have a long history of supernatural activity, while others have more recent stories of ghostly encounters. But what is it that makes these places so spooky and unsettling? In this video, we'll take a closer look at the top 10 most haunted villages in the world. We'll explore the stories and legends that have made these places infamous for their supernatural activity. So, if you're brave enough, watch on to discover the chilling tales of some of the world's most haunted villages. Number 10. Trasmaz Village In the 13th century Trasmaz Castle's nobles spread rumors that the small village of Trasmaz was infested with witches. This was to conceal their illegal forgery operation, and the loud noises that came from the village's iron and silver mines. The Roman Catholic Church, angered by the village's lack of tax payment, used the witchcraft rumor as an excuse to excommunicate all of Trasmaz. Although King Ferdinand II later ruled in Trasmaz's favor, the myth of witches persisted. Today, with only 62 residents, Trasmaz is still regarded as a witchcraft center in Spain, with the castle of Trasmaz often cited as a bastion of Satanism and black magic in Spanish legend and folklore. Number 9. Barahak Village Barahak or Pomfret was established in 1780 by Welsh families from Rhode Island, but by 1890, the village was deserted. Today, only a few scattered foundations and walls remain, with the cemetery being the only intact structure. Dubbed the Village of Ghostly Voices, Barahak Cemetery is said to be haunted, with visitors reporting hearing disembodied voices, ghost animals, and seeing floating orbs. Paranormal researcher Paul Eno claimed to have seen a bearded face floating above the cemetery in 1971. While some attribute the village's abandonment to economic troubles, others speculate about bad mojo. However, the current private property owner has no trespassing signs, discouraging paranormal investigators from visiting. Number 8. Canadian Village Canadian, situated in East Anglia, known as England's Witch Country, is the subject of a 19th-century prophecy by James Morrill, a cunning man, who promised that the village would always be full of witches. Local legends suggest that whenever a stone falls from the tower of St. Nicholas Church, a witch dies, and another replaces her. Counterclockwise running around the church or tombs on Halloween is said to summon the devil or ghosts and witches, prompting the police to discourage merrymakers. Most of Canudan's myths are attributed to the witch trials and executions in the 16th and 17th centuries. White mice instead of black cats were allegedly used by the witches of Canadan as their familiars. George Pickingle, a famous magician from Canadan, was associated with black magic rituals and devil worship before his death in the early 20th century. Number 7. Yarumal Village Yarumal, a small village located in Colombia's Antioquia department, is plagued by a scientific curse. The curse of dementia. Nearly 50% of Yarumal's 5,000 residents are afflicted with Alzheimer's disease before reaching old age. Although Yarumal was once known for the violence that characterized Colombia in the 1980s and 1990s, it now attracts attention for its high rates of early-onset dementia, known as La Bobera, or the foolishness. Most of Yarumal's residents can trace their ancestry back to Spain's Basque region, and the high rates of Alzheimer's disease are believed to be linked to a genetic mutation introduced by a Spanish conquistador in the 17th century. Yarumal has become a giant laboratory for researchers looking to find a cure for dementia. Number 6. Bangard Village Bangar, a once strong municipality in the state of Rajasthan, India, now lies in ruins and holds a fascination for those interested in the supernatural. The town was founded in 1573 and was incorporated into the state of Ajabgarh in 1720. It was completely uninhabited less than a hundred years later due to a famine, but there is a popular folklore about a cursed love story involving a princess and an evil magician that many people believe is the reason for Bangar's decline. Despite a sign from the Archaeology Survey of India warning people to stay away, thousands still visit the ruins every year, hoping to witness its reputed hauntings and see if the curse is real. Number 5. Dargavs Village Dargavs, known as the City of the Dead, is a necropolis located on a mountain ridge in Russia's Republic of North Ossetia Alania. In the Middle Ages, Ossetian tribesmen buried their families in crypts that looked like houses. 
Dargavs has nearly 100 stone crypts containing boat fragments. Although it's deep in the Caucasus Mountains and has no navigable rivers, visitors to Dargavs quickly realize that the oddly shaped white houses are littered with bones. Despite the legend that visiting the tombs of Dargavs will cause death, thousands of people still visit every year. Number 4. Kaldara Village Are you enjoying the video so far? If so, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This way you'll stay on top of all our releases and you'll also help us to keep producing videos, we are counting on you. Kaldara is an abandoned village in Rajasthan, India, where all the residents left in the 19th century and never returned. One theory suggests that they left in solidarity with their chief after an ultimatum from a minister. Despite the unlikely theory, Kaldara is considered one of India's most haunted places. In 2013, the Paranormal Society of Delhi conducted an investigation and claimed to have evidence of sudden temperature drops, unexplained noises, disembodied voices, and strange shadows. In 1998, two foreigners were caught stealing gold and silver items they found while digging under the village's abandoned houses. Number 3. Cinco Saltos Village Cinco Saltos in Argentina is known as the City of Witches, due to the large number of necromancers and witches living there. The town is shrouded in darkness, which reportedly helps to hide the town's practitioners of black magic. The town's large cemetery is the source of many supernatural stories, including the discovery of a mummified 12-year-old girl's body chained to her coffin. Residents believe that the body was used in an occult ritual. Visitors crossing Pellegrini Lake at night have reported hearing the screams of children, which were believed to be the result of child sacrifices performed by witches in the past. However, no one has been able to find the source of these screams. Number 2. Bala Village Oman has a predominantly Muslim population with Abadi as the most followed school of Islam. The Abadi school is descended from Karijism, which was known for their demand for strict adherence to their interpretation of Islam or face harassment or death. Despite this, Bala, a village in Oman, is famous for its association with black magic. Reports of witches, curses, and dijins are common in Bala, which locals believe to be a hub of evil spirits. The village has professional fortune tellers, occult practitioners, and other activities considered haram by mainstream Islam. Number 1. Village of Al Jazeera Al Hamra Al Jazeera Al Hamra, an abandoned fishing village in the northeastern tip of the UAE was once a prosperous community that attracted immigrants and traders from Persia, Portugal, and Britain. However, in 1968, the residents left the village en masse, leaving it to itinerant workers. Since then, the village has gained a reputation as an extremely haunted location, with many locals believing it is overrun by Dijins, a violent and corrupt type of fairy. Legend trippers and thrill seekers visit the village to seek out supernatural experiences, despite some locals denying the existence of Dijins. Local horror filmmaker Faisal Hashmi visited the village and reported feeling a sense of dread and encountering handprint impressions, a warning from the spectral inhabitants. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel to watch more spooky videos.